This is another daily recap for Friday, November 17, 2023. This is a one minute chart of the spiders or the SPY, and this one horizontal line shows the only level of eight that were calculated this morning. And this is the only level that the spiders hit and produced a trade. These levels are calculated every morning and put on the chart, and they act as the basis for activating trades in the E mini futures. So it took a while for the spiders to get here, but when they finally did at around 10 minutes after 1 p.m., it triggered a short trade in the E minis. And the spiders got to 451.19, which is the five cent buffer applied to trades like this. And by the way, there are certain times when a level is traded exactly on the button, or sometimes the level is taken off the table before the spiders have a chance to even get to it, but those aren't relevant now. In this case, everything worked. It was a solid base hit very quickly, hardly out of the money at all, about one ES point for maybe a couple of minutes. Resistance was definitely met and established, and price came back providing a base hit in the E-mini trade. So that was it for the day. You can see when the spiders did come back into this at 451.24 level, again, toward the end of the trading day, it worked again, but per the rules of the strategy that I use, I'm not taking this trade again. The first time is the best time. They sometimes do work for additional bites of the apple like this one did, but with the strategy, the probabilities are not as high on subsequent visits to the same level if a profit has already been taken before. So let's take a quick look at the tracking log. This doesn't really merit a lot of time or explanation. It was just one base hit at that one level and four points is my base hit in the E-minis for the entire contract. So here are the profit potentials and uh, pretty simple, a few more dollars in your pocket. That's all there is to it. Hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.